hi welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to make a delicious oha soup using quaker oats as a thickener and palm fruit concentrate which is banga instead of palm oil so if you want to see how to make this then keep on watching So I'm going to start by cooking the meat and I'm using chicken and chicken gizzard and also dry stockfish fillets and bonga fish but I'm going to be adding the bonga fish later in this video. Then add half chopped onion, some salt, two stock cubes or more depending on the quantity of soup you are making. Then add water just a little water and allow to cook till it's a little bit tender so while the meat is cooking you are going to start picking and shredding the oha leaves normally the oha leaves comes with its stock but mine has already been plucked so i'm going to start picking the ones that are more fresher and shred them with the tip of my fingers just like this these ones are no longer needed so when I'm done picking the leaves I soak it in water with some salt so that the sands and any other tiny particles will sink down to the bottom of the bowl. Now over to the palm fruit concentrate. It is necessary to go through this process as you will see why later in this video. So add hot water to the banga and gently dissolve it in the hot water. Now, if you don't want to use the banga, you can also use red palm oil, okay? Now, gently decant the liquid into the cooking meat. So, this is why I said you must go through the process of dissolving it in hot water. Can you see those tiny particles? I'm sure you don't want it in your delicious soup, right? Okay, so while the banga is boiling, I'm going to start blending the Quaker Oats. And this is the brand you need and must use for this soup. I repeat, this is the brand you need and must use for this soup. For any other type, I'm not sure of, but this is the brand you need if you really want to get the taste of real or hard soup if prepared with cocoyam paste i'm also going to blend these uziza seeds with some crayfish uziza gives a unique flavor and taste to oha soup which is why you need it okay you can use either the leaves or the seeds. They both work great. So now I'm going to stir the ground Quaker oats into hot water and then add it to the pot. Be careful when adding this because it thickens more than cocoyam paste. So I would advise you follow the method I'm using here, which is add and stir until you achieve the consistency you want okay and don't worry about the lumps they will melt inside the soup now add the ogre normally in the picture you are seeing that is how the sellers used to wrap it in leaves so i'm adding just a teaspoon but if you can't stand the taste and smell of ogre you can skip this step but i believe that without oguri 
offer the wishes any soup made with cocoa yam is not complete okay then add the ground crayfish and oziza seeds i told you about and one more stock cube if necessary stir and taste for salt now this is the bonga fish i told you about at the beginning of this video so i'm going to debone it and wash it with hot water but this is optional if you don't want it or if you don't have it you can skip this step as well when thoroughly deboned and washed add it to the pot and add any hot pepper of your choice i'm adding cameroon pepper now as you can see there are no more lumps in the soup i told you now cover the pot and allow the soup to cook properly for about 10 to 15 minutes so while the soup is cooking i'm going to prepare the swallow that will go down with the soup yes the swallow that will go down with the soup in which i'm using gary but you can eat the soup with any other type of swallow you like so if you don't know how to make gari this is how to first pour in boiled water i mean boiled water not just hot water but boiled water into a boil quickly spread in the gari pour the hot water over it again and stir it until it comes together you still remember our oha that has been soaking in salty water it's time to add it to the pot now wash it with that same water and rinse it properly with another clean water then add to the pot so always bear in mind that the oha should go last into the pot now here's one tip before you add the oha make sure you off the heat then add it and stir if you still want your aha to be a little bit crunchy you know because normally when you are eating the aha soup you'll be feeling that crunchy yummy taste <laughs> i don't know how to say it, but yeah reason is because the aha leaves tends to die so quickly in the pot when added so you have to take my advice on this okay so y'all that's all for today our fantastic oha soup made with quaker oats is ready to be consumed so for those of you who don't know how to eat swallows simply take as much gari as you can swallow dip it into the soup and then swallow it yummy <laughs> Thank you so much for watching i will talk to you in my next video enjoy <laughs>